I actually almost got a wee story to tell you. I was just I was just uh, emptying the bins there, and I thought about a story that happened about oh thirty six years. I'm married thirty five years this year, so it was thirty six years ago. Whenever I was going with Rosemary, and uh, we got invited to a very uppity party, and it was like if you got invited to this party, like you were really you were in and you were on your way up, and <laughs> a lot of, not many people got invited. You see, so. Because Rosemary knew these people and they invited her and me to go to the party. So that was fair enough and the uh, party started and one of them said, Well, Brendan, what do you do for a living? And something in the depths of my soul made me say, I'm a bin man. <laughs> and they all went, Oh, how frightfully interesting. Oh my goodness, I've never spoken to a bin man before. So... They said, they started saying, well, what's it like? It must be very interesting. And I said, yeah, it's great. In fact, I said, I got a lovely set of saucepans, which is great for Rosie and me getting married because I opened the bin last week and there was a set of saucepans in pristine condition. Well, they weren't pristine, there were a couple of dents. But I took them out and threw them in the back of the lorry because it was my turn to get the next set of saucepans. And he went, what do you mean? And I said, well, whenever we find the saucepans, instead of splitting the set up, we take turn about to get the complete set so it, it looks nice in our kitchen. And I went, oh, that's fascinating. I said, yeah, you wouldn't know what, you wouldn't believe the stuff people throw out. In fact, I got a lovely hair dryer for Rosemary two weeks ago that somebody had thrown in the bin and I took it home and checked it and sure enough, now there'll be cracking it on the, on the shell, but it works the very best and she was delighted because she, her, her own hair dryer wasn't working that well, you see. So this went on and more and more people arrived and as they arrived, you know, people were, hello, this is Brendan, he's a bin man. And, oh, how, how awfully, how frightfully interesting. And I went, oh, it's all right, you know, but I'll tell you what, you get some great finds. So this went on all night, and I was telling stories, but you see, one of my friends, Pat, um, from years ago, was a bin man. And he used to tell me the stuff, about the stuff he found on his runs. So I had all these stories that I could get telling to other people who definitely wouldn't know them. So I was having a great time telling, telling all these stories what I found. So that went on great and everything was fine. And, and uh, we were heading home in the car and Rosemary says to me, so uh, what about the hairdryer you got me two weeks ago? <laughs> I says, what hairdryer? She said, the one you found in the bin. And I went, oh, right. It's, it, uh, I'm not too sure what you're talking about. She says, Brent, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because we nearly said her name there. Um, right, there's tomatoes called Shirley. So Shirley came out and said to me, I didn't know that. Oh, no, she says to me, well, I believe Brendan got a great hairdryer for you two weeks ago. And Rosemary said to her, what are you, what are you talking about? Brendan's never bought me a hairdryer. She went, no, 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 he didn't buy it. He found it in the bins. And Rosemary said to her, but... I don't know what you're talking about, you're Brendan. It has nothing to do with bins or anything. And she went, is he not a bin man? And it just clicked with Rosemary, that bastard's telling lies again, you see. So he says to her, Shirley, no, he's not a bin man. And she told him what it did, and she just started to laugh. Shirley started laughing, and she said, that's brilliant. So Rosemary said, look, I'll tell you what's brilliant about it. I'm going to go and kill him now. And she went, no, don't. Because all those uppity people are in there hanging on his every word and they're all going to go home and tell their friends about meeting this bin man and all the things that he found. She said the unfortunate part of it is they're going to think your house is full of stuff from people's bins, you know. And I was laughing, Rosemary said to me, Brenton, you have a, a real problem with the truth, don't you? And I went, well, maybe, you know. But the end result was we never got invited back again to one of those parties, so maybe... The bin man was too much for them. But I was just thinking about that one as doing the work there and I thought to myself, I might as well tell them. Okay. Well, about least four minutes left, so I have to stop. Okay, all the best now. Bye-bye.